Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dearborn Partner webinar. Uh, our topic today is the essentials of New Jersey real estate, and it's really about the new 15th edition. I'm Toby Shifsky. I'm the executive director of uh, uh, real estate education at Kaplan, which includes Dearborn real estate education and Kaplan real estate education. And today we are going to go over in 30 minutes and it's going to be very fast. Uh, what's new in the 15th edition? Some really big updates and some big uh, content focus changes that you're going to want to be aware of. Uh, and to help us today is our contributing editor, Marie Spodek. And so I'd like to go ahead and bring in Marie. And I want to say, uh, let's do this. Marie, thank you for being here. I know a bunch of people are excited to have you here. And thank you. I'm excited to have you here. It's really great to be here. I'm seeing some people that are actually checking in that I actually know. So that's wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Well, let me just do a quick kind of housekeeping thing for everybody. So Marie and I can see the text chats. Go ahead and do that. We also have Chris Robinson on. I think some of you school owners and operators will know Chris Robinson. He's a national account director in sales, and he's going to be our moderator today. So if the questions come too fast, he'll help make sure and answer some questions. If you have any technical issues, because you should be able to see us and hear us right now, go ahead and uh, text chat it into the chat, chat message, and Chris should be able to help you out. So here's what we have. We have 30 minutes today to get through this, this beautiful new uh, edition of the uh, New Jersey Essentials of Real Estate. And I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. What I'd like to do, Marie, I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint. And, um, and we're just going to kind of go through this very quickly. And everybody, you can ask your questions as we go. Uh, we're going to try to get through, it as, uh, uh, get through all of it. So there's some outstanding updates coming. All right, so here we are with the New Jersey uh, Essentials of Real Estate. And uh, once again, I would just want to do an official, you know, hello to Marie Spodek. Marie, you know, uh, is a CDEI, CNA, CBR, uh, you know, designations, is a longtime Dearborn author and editor who participates in the development of many products. Among, among others, her works include environmental issues in your real estate practice, uh, and sub a sustainable housing and building green. Marie was the first recipient of the Real Estate Educators Association Jack Wiedemeyer Distinguished Career Award. Uh, Marie, uh, uh, you are, uh, don't need to be announced just about anywhere, and uh, we are ecstatic to have you here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So let's do this. Um, I am looking at my uh, lookout, my layout, and I want to make sure that we are going to be able to bounce a little bit back and forth uh, with our video. So first off, let's do this. I want to introduce the book, uh, the 15th edition, Essentials of New Jersey Real Estate. If you're not aware, everybody, this is the print book, uh, ISBN 978, uh, you know, one, there it is, and the ebook. So I know that we've had some movement uh, on eBooks in the last two years. In fact, there's been a giant movement uh, towards a, a faster adoption of eBooks than we've had in the previous five years. And, and Marie, I know you and I talked a little bit about uh, you know, the print book and how it's used. And, and you stopped me. Uh, it's, if everybody doesn't know, we talked uh, a little bit before this presentation. And she stopped me. She said, I really think we need to point out something about the ebook. And, and Maria, tell us, why, why is the ebook important in your mind these days? The reason I'm interested in the ebook is that, A, as a school owner, I wouldn't have all these print products sitting around. But I'm not sure that everybody realizes the advantage of the ebook that Dearborn has because students can highlight, they can do word searches. It reflects the print product, but it's easier to carry around. They can have it with them all the time on their laptops. I don't know, can it be on their phone? I don't know about that. Yeah, there, there's options for that too. They, they absolutely. It's, and um, they can put notes, I said, can they put notes? Yes, they can put notes in it, they can highlight. So I think, that's an exciting new development for New Jersey essentials. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so let's, uh, let's move in uh, to our next uh, uh, step. And this is a big slide and there's three really big 
kind of bullets on this one uh, to keep us kind of moving forward. But I wanted to let everybody know, and this is kind of a message from the publisher to everybody, that we are moving to an annually updated product uh, for the New Jersey Essentials of Real Estate. And, and that means that every year there will be an updated edition of the book. And, and I know that got you excited, Marie. Tell me, why, why is that exciting for you as a, you know, not only as an author, but as an educator? Because uh, I, I think at the core of it, you, you enjoy educating. Why, why is this an important piece for what we're doing? Well, even more than just being a school owner and working with instructors, I really liked the idea of putting in the state statutes at the end of the book so that when I am teaching or when you're teaching, you have the general topic in the main material, but then you can ask the students to go right to the back, you'll have the page numbers, and you can say, here's what it says in the law. And personally, I thought that was a fantastic addition. Right on. So not only are you gonna get the state statutes in the back of the book, very clear, easy to highlight, easy to take people to, um, but uh, they're gonna be updated annually. Yes. And so you're going to have the most current, accurate, up-to-date content available in New Jersey. Except for one thing. What's that? We, well, New Jersey has a tendency to change the law in the middle of the year. <laughs> so we'll catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Year, but, right on. Yeah. But annually, you're going to be fresh and solid. And and so for and for the next the next point, you know, uh, I want to make sure people are. In fact, let me. Let me ask a polling question if I could. Hey, everybody, I want you to play along with us. I, I kind of want to, to understand uh, uh, where you're at. You know, we try to communicate all the time at Dearborn about, about our products and about new additions that come out. And let me ask you a question, everybody. And so you get to play along, all right? So go ahead and answer this question. We're going to do a little survey. And uh, I'm going to ask you a question. And the question is, question number one. Uh, go ahead and answer this. Um, did you know the New Jersey Essentials of Real Estate 15th edition released in August? Did you know that already? I'm going to share these results. These are totally anonymous, everybody. Nobody's going to know what you put in or not. All right. Um, and, but I'm going to go ahead and post the results in just a second. Everybody's clicking along, clicking along. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> All right. Five, four, three. Two, one, zero. All right, here we go. And then I'm going to share the results. Look at that. So 56% of the people knew that it had already released. You guys should all know that I have people from our staff that are listening in here that their job is to make sure you know that new editions are released. So this tells us something, right? 40% of you didn't know that a new edition released already. So we got some work to do there. Um, we'll take these results back. It'll help us be a little bigger, faster, smarter, stronger about making sure you know uh, that we have uh, uh, new additions coming out and with plenty of time to be able to adopt. And so it's going to be important, right? It's going to be really important with, with this, the 15th edition, you know, and as we go forward to the 16th edition next year, you're going to know when those are coming so that you can plan appropriately also. OK, so we're going to take those results back. That's surprising to me, uh, but enlightening. So thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So so this next bullet, everybody, I want to go ahead and just pull this up a second again. OK. Marie, ah. this is what you've been concentrating on for a long time. Right. Yep. And it's it's focused on updates to the New Jersey PSI exam outline. So, so what we're talking about again is the book. What's the difference between the 14th edition and the 15th edition? And, and one of the things you wanted to really make sure people understood was how much more focused on the PSI exam outline we are. Can, can you tell us more about that? What did you do? How did this work? And, and what should they expect? Well, Every once in a while, a reviewer, somebody would say, this book doesn't cover things that are on the PSI exam. So I thought, all right, let me pull up New Jersey PSI exam. And I 
got a spreadsheet and I started looking up all of the topics. And I think there were maybe one or two very obscure issues that perhaps we hadn't covered, but everything was there. It's just a matter of focusing on everything that's there. Because the whole point of a pre-licensing class is to get people through the exam, not to teach them how to be a successful real estate agent out in the real world, we've got to get them through the exam. So A, we have to cover all the topics. And I have always asked my students to call me up afterwards with this question. Did you see something on the exam that you'd never heard of before? And I think that's relevant. I'm not asking for the question. I don't want you to ask the question. Yeah, no, I just no, want no. to know the topic. And a student called me up and said, you never told us what interest is. Oh, very so, simple concept. Very simple definition. Well, I had to put in the in the book, and you'll find it there. Essentially, interest is the rent you pay to use somebody else's money. But that was important to bring that up. So I've gone through the PSI content over and over again. Um, I've taken that exam a couple of times because I was in a state that allowed um, people to take the exam uh, in lieu of continuing education. Sure. So I can say that PSI is straightforward, but you need to know the difference between revoke, rescind, contract and offer, um, littoral, and riparian. You just sure. have to know those definitions. So, so very clear. I just want to kind of cover this a, a little bit again, uh, make sure I got it right. So you're in a state where you can take the exam uh, in lieu of CE. Yes. Awesome, right? Now, it's just, everybody knows, at Dearborn, we are a highly ethical business. Yes. Highly ethical business partner. We are not sharing exam questions. In fact, you're asked not to share. It's a part of the vow you take when you take the exam. We don't ever share questions. And believe me, we hear from students all the time and they tell us, you know, but what, but the key here is, is understanding the content, the content, the concepts, the content, the terminology, even the question format, right? We have to I make sure that, ask that I just need them to know the difference between revoke and rescind. Well, there and you what go, is right? interest? <laughs> so, so we don't give up test questions, but we make sure that we are using, right, what directly reflects what they're going to see on their exam. Exactly. Uh, you know, okay, very good. That's exciting. And, mm -hmm. and I know we spent a lot of time focusing on that outline, right? And I see down here, I got Wayne says, we try to uh, keep a cross-reference from the book to the PSI outline. Is it possible to share your cross-reference? <laughs> I think that's our trade secret. secret. <laughs> that's trade secret now. But Wayne, you're going to have to do a little work on your own. But but I tell you what, Wayne, um, you know, this book has been reviewed. And I, I think uh, uh, Marie is going to give a little shout out uh, later to some of the reviewers that helped in this process. Uh, because it's not just a contributing editor. It's not just an initial editor. There's there's, you know, literally dozens of people who touch this work before it gets into your hands. And so the idea you got to understand and think that what Marie wants to let you know is she has gone to the PSI exam outline and cross-referenced all the content and has created a laser-focused textbook for you um, to the point where, uh, because she's in a state where she can take the exam, uh, she feels she's pretty smart. Could. Right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now, Good. the other thing I wanted to say about PSI is that they have made a number of modifications to their questions, their items that we, I went through in this edition and took out all proper names mm -hmm. um, because that was so confusing to so many people. Is Adam the seller? Is Marie the buyer? Who's the agent? So we took out the proper names. We did, we took out the negative questions because all of the following except focuses the learner on the wrong answer instead of the right answer. So we took all of those out. And PSI doesn't ask those questions, right? PSI no. doesn't. No. And we aren't either. We are taking them out. Right. And I have to tell you, it's a challenge sometimes <laughs> because it's easier to write a list question. It's harder not to. Got it. So when you say list question, when you say accept, you can have three easy to write three wrong questions as opposed to 
you know, three correct. So it's very uh, hard to write wrong responses. <laughs> that's it. But the key for everybody listening is what uh, uh, we have updated all the quizzes and all the exams uh, to reflect this language change for mm -hmm. the 15th edition of the New Jersey Essentials of Real Estate. That right. has happened. And, and you've taken out names because uh, PSI doesn't use it. And it's, right. it, it's needlessly confusing. You've we taken say out owner, names. real yeah. estate agent, broker. Very straightforward, very clear. I think what you're going to find here, everybody, is there's a little bit of a theme with the, the 15th edition of New Jersey Real Estate Essentials is that it's very much about making it about back to the basics, the core of what students really need to know to, to not only be successful in the education that you're trying to administer, but 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 to be successful in passing their exam and 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 laying a solid foundation for a career in real estate. I mean, we know you, you basically have to learn a whole new language when you come into real estate. And and I think that's a part of what you wanted to make a point was uh, we're clearly defining the language again in the books because that's what you're seeing on the exams. Yep. And I want to mention that we have it before the multiple choice items, we actually have a matching. And wow. the matching is criti really critically important. The student, and we've tried to make the responses easy to follow through, it. but it's very important that they know the definition. So those matching are critically important. Those matching exercises, you've gone reestablish the matching exercises in the book as a tool to set them up for their unit quizzes. Correct. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. right on. Let's do this. I know we got a lot of people on, we've got over, uh, well, we got a lot of people on. And so um, <laughs> I'd like us to know, because I Marie, we could probably answer some questions directly who, what the role is of the people. Cause we have, I know we have school Good owners, point. right? I know we have administrators and operators on here. Right. And then I, I also know we have instructors on here. I hope we have instructors on here. Could, I could you guys play along with us? We're going to do another poll question. We'd like to know because we can kind of kind of guide the, the, the conversation appropriately. So let me go ahead and pull up uh, the next poll. And I'm going to ask you really kind of what your role is, just so we have an idea of who's actually on the, the, the webinar with us. Could you, what is your role? And here's the thing. You can answer more than one answer. It's not a like one or the other. So if you've got multiple hats on, like, like I do generally uh, lots of times, go ahead and answer the multiple hats. Well, we got a big, big pile of instructors on. I like that. We've got a nice little handful of school owners. I like that. And uh, school administrators. Very good. You can have multiple roles. Go ahead. And, and once again, it's anonymous. Uh, nobody's going to know what, what you answered. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's end it. I'll share it so you guys can all see who's on. Look at that. I got, I got Rhoda. She's in the... Uh, She's in the text chat telling us, love that. So, uh, all right, I shared all the results. Can you guys see that? Uh, I'm an instructor, 54% of the people. So 24 of you are, are, are instructors. I'm a school administrator, 27%. And I'm a school owner, 18%. That's a pretty good mix, pretty mm -hmm. good mix. I am gonna ask another question a little bit later on for you uh, instructors or owners and administrators. Um, uh, I'm going to ask you a question a little bit later on, a polling question, to see if if you would like to have a a maybe a coaching session with Marie. Um, we could do it as a webinar, uh, just a one hour on how to use the book and the resources. I'm going to ask that question a little bit later because there's some exciting changes in that book. All right, uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and come back to the PowerPoint. Make sure we stayed on task, Marie. So because we know PowerPoints are important in a presentation uh, to keep people on task, right? And to know that wh wh where the ship is headed, uh, so to say. So um, essential knowledge for students pass their exam. I think we've covered everything on this, on this one. I think so. I think I, I've said what I needed to say. Let's go on. <laughs> all right, let's move on. All right. So and we, we might've even talked a little bit about these, right? So the yes, updated review exercises, mm -hmm. so matching exercises, once again, I would just reiterate, so everybody knows, we've updated all the unit quizzes, right, to reflect the format of the licensing exam. That's those question changes, right? No names in them again, no accepts, or all of these accept this, or, uh, you know, none of that stuff. All the questions will be laser-focused, right, 
most closely reflect they will most closely reflect what the students are going to see on their state licensing exam. All right. Okay. Uh, now let's look at yeah. the IRG. Isn't that next? Yes. Great. Yes. This one? Yes. All right. So let me talk about this because I have learned that many instructors, many people don't know what is in the instructor resources. Once, of course, once you accept or start buying the textbook, then we give you a code to go into the internet and you have access to PowerPoint slides and additional questions and exams and quizzes. Let me talk about the PowerPoint though. I was really excited a long time ago when I could switch to PowerPoint from the old slides. But what I did in this PowerPoint is use the major topics in the textbook. Um, Dearborn allows you to delete a slide or to modify a slide. And the, I wanna emphasize the value of using PowerPoint. Because it has the major topics, that's great. It assists the students so they know where you are, especially students who are hard of hearing or for whom English is the second language or for people who are coming back into a study situation after years, if not decades, of not having been studying. So, please get access to the PowerPoint slides. I didn't, we didn't put graphics in or anything like that, but add your own enhancements that might reflect what's going on locally in your community. But of course, always keep it on point. And um, lastly, on this slide, uh, you have access here. When you see something in the classroom, that you would like to change. Walk out of the classroom and send us an email at reorders at dearborn.com um, and you'll get the pin, but you'll uh, pin number to go in. But you can also give us feedback. No, this is just to get the pin number. So uh, go in and get this. I'm always surprised when people don't have it. It's, it's your... Uh, uh, we're happy you bought the product. Now we want you to use it. Did that yeah. help? <laughs> right on. See, uh, all right. So I, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, if everybody knows what's in the instructor resources, I know that we had a question earlier um, that said, hey, where's the content outlines? When can I get those? And I know, Chris, you answered in the, um, uh, in the uh, chat. But um, those instructor resources are pretty awesome. I looked through them all uh, before this presentation. We've got a, a content outline. We've got um, uh, uh, really all the PowerPoints, all the quizzes, all the exams. I mean, it's there for you. They are rich and thick. Uh, and, and, and I think they're an invaluable resource to you. If you're not familiar with how to get to them, uh, you can call customer service uh, and, and get to them. Hey, Marie, one more thing I just saw. Uh, Chris Robinson put the content feedback can be sent to our editors. So here's another thing, everybody. On the back of the book, right? Down at the bottom of the back of, the, of our books, there is this um, email address, content inquiries at dearborn.com. If you see something you, you think is, is uh, good or something you think needs to be changed or is wrong or updated, please, please, please send us an email to content inquiries at dearborn.com. Our content developers, the people, these, these content producers, we have, you know, seven content producers that work with over almost 50 authors across the country. Um, they gather all this information and we, we, we're, they're editing. They're constantly updating course material. And like Marie said, you know, there are some things that are going to come in in the middle of the year. Uh, we create errata that are updated all the time. But the next edition in New Jersey, the longest you're going to need to wait is, is, is the next edition that should come out every year for you. Um, so we're super excited about that. But please, please, please use the content inquiries at Dearborn.com. I got, oh, Marie, go ahead. Nope, let's, we're looking at the time, so. Yeah, very good. Uh, I do see a question that came in. 
Yes. And that has to do with broker scenarios. Correct. That is the focus of our next edition is we are going to, at this edition, we have totally focused on the vast majority of people that are taking this course in order to get into the real estate world. And now for the next edition, one of the issues I'm going to be looking at seriously is following up with PSI to see how detailed some of the broker scenarios are. But this edition has been focused at the majority of people. Right, which is the initial license level. Yes. The, and just so everybody knows, we, we do have a broker uh, scenario question and it's National Real Estate Broker Simulations and Scenarios version 1.0. It's just released for sale, um, and but it's an online course. So RE Campus is involved. Um, and so, uh, but if you have inquiries about that broker scenarios, please, please, please send a text chat or an email to Chris Robinson. You can do it right now here, and I'll make sure to reach out to you afterwards if you have an inquiry about that. Uh, go ahead and put it in your text chat and say, hey, contact me about broker scenarios. And he'll give you the, he'll make sure, and uh, we'll make sure and send you the information on, on that. All but right? I appreciate that feedback. I really do appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, right on. Well, I'm excited already about the 16th edition now, if we're going to add the broker scenarios in there. Are you kidding me? This is going to be awesome. I mean. Well, I hesitate to promise too much wow. because let's stay focused on the vast majority of people yeah. that are taking these courses. So our first step is to get the vast majority of people through the PSI exam. Right on, right on. Yeah. Adriana just said, hey, what uh, what month are they generally released? Uh, we just released the 15th edition in August. And so we're looking at sometime in that time frame with uh, maybe a month before, a month after was when we'll be see these annual uh, um, uh, annually updated books come out, okay? <laughs> Uh, look at that. Carly saying, hey, send me the broker scenario information. Love it. Love it. Love it. Go ahead and put that down. I tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and wrap up, everybody. Keep bringing your questions in. Um, oh, can I, I, I say one last thing, though? Yeah, I would okay. like to do this on our thank yes. you slide. I want to say thank you to the pre-revision reviewers. There were several who really assisted me. Uh, sometimes they actually wrote down a preferred wording and I'd look at it and say, oh, that's really pretty darn good. And they know who they are. I don't know who you are, but now you know who I am. And I really hope that we can make this very excellent product even better. Right on. Marie, uh, no, I couldn't have said it better. The only thing I would add is that there are people on here right now that are going to be either in this live presentation or going to be watching the video afterwards. Once again, we will send out a link to the video afterwards. Everybody you can send us mm -hmm. to your instructors. You can give it to whoever you need to. But but we are always looking for talented people, talented people who can be as simple as a reviewer for products. If you are interested in being a reviewer for products, you know, uh, let us know. Uh, we are always looking for super talented people. And you can just send, you know, that feedback. You can even send it to content inquiries at Dearborn.com. Hey, I'd like to raise my hand. Tell me, what does it take to be a reviewer? Um, and, and it's a pretty simple process. There's a, you know, obviously want to see some of your work, want to see those, uh, you know, a little bit of a resume, that kind of a thing. But let us know if that's something you're interested in and, uh, and you've always wanted to do, bring that forward. Send us uh, your information. All right. And look at that. Even Marie gets it because uh, we do. We have every work is reviewed, peer reviewed multiple times by multiple mm -hmm. people before it ever hits your guys' hands as a finished work. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to wrap it up. Marie Spodek, uh, you've been sensational. You are such a foundation to what we do at Dearborn. And I can't thank you enough for being here today. I want to thank everybody else for being here. Once again, thank I'm you. with Dearborn Real Estate Education and take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.